greatest man in the world right now. I cried as soon as I saw Dad's picture. You touched my heart, and I love you. Chris, it's always us, okay? Every minute from now on, it's us. And I'll always be here, and I'm the one for you. I'm the one for you, honey. Love you. Can I give him a kiss? <laughs> <laughs> as much as you want. Okay. This is a day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it as we are gathered here to rejoice with and for Maureen and Chris as they are standing now before each other and before God and all of you as witnesses to be united as husband and wife. We enter into this ceremony with praise and thanksgiving to God who created love and we ask for God's blessings of joy and peace throughout this celebration. You may all be seated. This is it. Maureen and Chris, it's often been said that it's God that writes the best love stories and it's obvious to all who know and love you that your meeting was truly a part of, of God's wonderful plan for your great love story. Both of you have lived full and wonderful and meaningful lives before you met. And what you learned through those years helped prepare your hearts for that fateful day when you were just destined to meet one another. A moment in time that changed the direction of both of your lives forever. Today is a day you will cherish forever. And none of us here will ever forget as you take your marriage vows and make a total commitment to each other. And when you take your vows, you are becoming one heart, one love, one family, one name, and one destiny. It's been said that when God changes the course of your life, you just go with it. And here you are doing just that, fully embracing the joys of knowing and loving one another no matter where life takes you. For in your hearts, you know that your similarities and your differences just somehow fit together in a beautiful way so that you know today and every day from this day forward, you will always be better together than either of you could ever be alone without the other. All the blessings and all the benefits of marriage are rooted in love. Now to love in marriage is a little different than loving everyone else because when you love in marriage, you place your heart into the heart of your beloved. You become as a single soul inhabiting two bodies. To love each other in marriage means you see through each other's eyes and desire what is best, no longer as an individual on a life journey alone, but together in a journey as husband and wife. Love in marriage takes trust and dedication to never give up, to appreciate each other as individuals, yet you face the world with the courage and strength of two. Now to be married is not just to say mere words, but it is with your words to enter into an eternal covenant of love in which you will discover that the greatest joys in marriage are not in what you get from each other, but what you give to one another, for your love motivates you to give. Christopher Roberts, as you hold the hands of the one you love, do you present yourself willingly to have this beautiful bride, Maureen Hanley, as your lawfully wedded wife? I do. Maureen Hanley. As you hold the, one, the hands of the ones you love, your handsome groom, do you present yourself willingly to take Christopher Roberts as your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I ask now for everyone to stand in honor of this bride and groom. As you stand in their honor, let's all remember how the path of life is not to be walked alone. Our lives are nourished and replenished through the love of others. You're all here because you have each loved Chris and Maureen before today as individuals. It's important that today, as they join in marriage, that you continue your love and support for them. So I ask all of you, do you promise to support and bless the union of Chris and Maureen in marriage? Now, if you do, Say so together and enthusiastically, we do. We do. <laughs> Thank you. May all be seated. Your love and your support is so important and it's greatly appreciated. Maureen and Chris stand here prepared to love each other because of the love given to them since they were born. Today we want to give special recognition 
to the man whose unconditional love and support of Chris from the moment of his birth helped him to grow into the phenomenal man he is today. Today we honor his dad, Don Roberts. Now, Don cannot be with us, but he lives on in the hearts and minds of all those who knew him and loved him. And in ways we cannot yet fully understand, I believe that Don Roberts is rejoicing with us today for Chris and Maureen. Let us all now take a few minutes to bow in prayer and thanksgiving of Don Roberts as we listen to the celestial melody of Amazing Grace. In 1 Corinthians, we read what love is, and it's really described in what love does. That's how you know what love is. Love is very patient. Love is kind. It's never jealous or envious or boastful or proud. It's never haughty or selfish or rude. Love does not demand its own way. It's not irritable and touchy. It does not hold grudges and will hardly even notice when others do it wrong. Love is never glad about injustice, but rejoices whenever truth wins out. If you love someone, you'll be loyal to them, no matter what the cost. You will always believe in them and always stand your ground in defending them through every circumstance. For true love never fails. The Bible also speaks much of the power and beauty of love in the book of Song of Solomon, where love is referred to as a consuming fire. It's only appropriate we're before a fire pit here. As symbolic of what love is. For love ignites passion and delight and desire in your heart. Like fire, love gives warmth and comfort. And the fire of love and marriage will consume every part of your lives, making you forever better together, stronger together, more blessed together. Now I asked Chris and Maureen to put into words just what they love about each other and promises they will abide by for the rest of their lives. And neither has seen what the other wrote to me, but I'm going to share on their behalf right now. Chris wrote, I knew from the first moment I saw you that you were my forever. You brought joy and love to my life like no other. They say a perfect marriage is just two imperfect people who refuse to give up on each other. Maureen, you're my everything, and these are my promises to you. I will love you in good times and bad, when life seems easy or when it seems hard, when love is simple and when love is an effort. Your problems will become my problems. If you grow weak, I will carry you. I love that we will grow old together. I promise to cherish you and respect you. I know that I am not perfect, but I will love you perfectly. I will never let you down or give up on you. You are my everything. These things I give you today 
in all the days of my life. You are my everything, and these are my everlasting promises to you. If you feel like applauding, I don't blame you if you want to applaud. It's really good. And I love how you're kissing a lot during the marriage. <laughs> it needs to happen more often. Maureen's words. Chris, on our very first date 16 months ago, you asked me if I would ever consider getting remarried. I told you no. <laughs> because the one man that I could make that commitment to existed only in the mind of Rudyard Kipling, as described in his poem, The Thousandth Man. By the way, it's on the back of your program, if you want to read it later. However, every day since the first, you've been that man to me, and more. You have brought fierce joy to my fearful heart, careful calm to my waiting soul, and perfect love in each of our imperfect moments together. For all you mean to me, I pledge you for God and our loved ones here today to dedicate my life to the betterment of ours together. I will hold you up when life has left you weary, support you when you're right, and defend you when you're wrong. And I promise not to just love you more, but ever more. In other words, Chris, I will be your thousandth woman, and I will stand by your side to the gallows foot and after. All my love forever and always. <laughs> it's always a joy as an officiant when they write to each other like that, those kind of words. Chris and Maureen, to see you standing here together is is to see what love looks like. Cherish your love. For nothing you could ever do, nothing you could ever possess or achieve can compare to the value of the treasure, the love you share. Absolutely nothing other than the love of God can compare to the treasure of the love you have in each other. Now at night, when you gaze at the stars, just think for a moment that your love is a constant source of light to illuminate your life with great joy. Each day when you walk upon the earth, hand in hand with each step, be grateful that your love is a firm foundation for a life far more satisfying than either of you could know if walking alone. Now love is often expressed through music. So now we will be listening to the melodious offerings of Jack on his violin as he comes forward to prepare to do so let us, as we listen, ponder in our hearts and rejoice in our hearts for the wondrous love that Chris and Maureen share together.
Thank you so much. How can you not cry when you listen to that? <laughs> All right, now, as you prepare your hearts to take your vows to one another, keep in mind that no other words are more sacred nor meaningful than what you're going to repeat after me, beginning with you, Chris. Gaze into the eyes of your beloved. I, Christopher Roberts. I, Christopher Roberts. Take you, Maureen Hanley. Take you, Maureen Hanley. To be my beloved wife. To be my beloved wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. Maureen, as you continue to gaze in the eyes of your beloved, please repeat after me. I, Maureen Hanley. I, Maureen Hanley. Take you, Christopher Roberts. Take you, Christopher Roberts. To be my beloved husband. To be my beloved husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer or poorer. For richer or poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy ordinance. According to God's holy ordinance. I pledge myself to you. I pledge myself to you. May I have the rings, please? Or whatever else is in there, just bring it all out. May God bless these rings as you wear them with peace and joy and harmony. These rings represent the vows that you just said to one another, and as you wear them, they are to remind you to embrace all the blessings and benefits as God created marriage to be. Christopher, we'll start with you. Take the rings that you have for your beloved. And again, I'm going to ask you to repeat after me as you slowly place it on her finger. Maureen, uh, Maureen, you are the one my soul loves. Maureen, you are the one my soul loves. This day and every day. This day and every day. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. Now, as you completely place it on her finger, say after me with this <laughs> ring, I thee wed. I thee wed. With this ring. With this ring, yes. I thee wed. <laughs> and it's good that it goes on a little slowly sometimes because it's like marriage. You know, you run into some obstacles, they just keep pressing forward. <laughs> You have success. And you do the same. Take the ring you have for your beloved, soon to be officially husband. And as you slowly place it on his finger, repeat after me. Christopher, you are the one my soul loves. Christopher, you are the soul. One my, one my soul, soul loves. loves. <laughs> this day and every day. This day and every day. For all the days of our lives. For all the days of our lives. And as you completely put on his finger, repeat after me with this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I continue holding hands and wrap your hands around each other's rings. And I ask everyone now, I welcome you to join me in your hearts as I voice a prayer of God's blessing upon this beautiful and glorious union. Dear loving Father in heaven, as we give thanks for bringing Chris and Maureen together, we also ask for your hand of great joy and blessing to be upon them all the days of their marriage. Protect their marriage and their united family from harm and guide them with wisdom and strength to know how to make the best decisions together. Fill their home with laughter and peace and prosperity. Guard their hearts with faithfulness to one another so that they will always live as one. Walk with them each step of their journey as they grow to love each other more every year so that every year together is better than the year before and the best is always yet to come. Give them faith and favor to face victoriously, victoriously together whatever the future may bring. Reveal your presence and help every day for the rest of their lives as they put their trust in you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, Chris and Maureen, as your wedding minister, I believe the most important advice for a happy and successful marriage is to love each other with the mercy and grace as God loves each of you. 
and always considering the words of Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your hearts, lean not unto thine own understanding, but in all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. Christopher Roberts, Maureen Henley, you presented yourselves willingly to marry each other. You said, I do. You've stated your vows and sealed your marriage covenant with the giving and the receiving of rings. Therefore, by the authority given me in this beautiful state of Florida and ordained by our loving God, it is with the greatest of joys and blessings, I pronounce your husband and wife kiss your beautiful bride. Everyone, stand in honor of this newly married couple. And we'll give you this really lovely smelling Hawaiian bouquet. I just Thank love it so much. It's perfect for your wedding. Join arm in arm, hand in hand, for I have an introduction to make for the first time. As husband and wife, it is also with the greatest of joys and blessings, I introduce to you Dr. and Mrs. Christopher Roberts. And the best is yet to come. Slowly walk up the aisle okay. together. <laughs> okay. And may the rest of their lives be the best of their lives. The celebration continues.